Smith off the left. Got enough talk on it, he has. Another one of the cats, that's his second. No worries at all, though, as far as Geelong is concerned. Yes, yeah, a disappointing result and effort after quarter time, beaten by a very skillful, ferocious, and still unbeaten Geelong outfit. Benny Roberts, what were your thoughts on the contest? Tough review this week, Thumper. Uh, very disappointing night, especially the second quarter. Totally outclassed. Battled on gainfully considering the outs we had, but uh, overall a very disappointing night down at the Cattery. Uh, I don't care how good Geelong were. This miss from Burberry is one of the all-time sitters. How do you get that wrong? Don't know, mate. We would have kicked that one, I reckon, but uh, that's saying a lot. Absolutely. Fair bit of sickness running through the side. I'm sure everyone has heard through the media, but you got Rosa pulling out late from the game, Brand College, Matt Prittis feeling crook as a dog heading into the game. Don't feel, hey, what about uh, Dom Sheet? What about him? Didn't you hear the podcast? We're, we've pulled up at the hotel, then you just hear this... Everyone <laughs> <laughs> looks around. Dom's spewing in his bag. Oh. In his bag, on his boots, on his clothes. Oh. And, he, and he looked up and goes... What else am I meant to do? <laughs> Suffered a bit of injury during the pre-season and Will Schofield was unable to crack into the side early doors. But the last couple of rounds, he's come into good form. Had a great job on the weekend against the Cats and probably you know held his own down back there. He did. He played on the resting Ruckman when they were down there, but also showed his versatility thumper and really did a good job when the ball hit the deck too. So well done, Scully. Saw plenty of at the back. Some good performance there on the weekend. Josh Hill, got to be happy with his performance. In particular, the first quarter. He's kicked one of the best goals that I think we've ever seen in the last five years. Do you agree with that? Yes, Thumper. Very good goal from Hilly there, bending around the corner like Beckham. Uh, I was partial to Scoey's one running down the wing, Phil Manassas style here at Patterson's a couple of years ago. And you've got to throw in Lecker's one in the qualifying final in 2011, dribbling around the corner in a similar fashion. Absolutely. Thought the crowd, even though we're at the Cattery, would get him around him a bit more. I think the last goal Josh Hill kicked, it was an absolute ripper. He copped the flag to the face. That's how we celebrate here at West. Coast, you get in their grill. Thumper, I'll tell you what else he'll be pretty wrapped about is Jack Darling missing out on this goal. Tried to bend it around himself and then David Seaman dives and tips it out of the bottom corner. Yep. Harry Taylor with a beautiful effort there. Don't think Healy wanted to share the spotlight there. Look, Nick Natanui subbed out of the game. A lot of people asking, should he be dropped? Is he all right to be playing? I just think he had one of those dirty nights, Benny. Yeah, you've got to have one of those every now and then. He wouldn't be happy with it. He's missing goals from the goal square. He's, he's being denied mark of the year contenders. And in the end, I reckon he subbed himself out because he's so disappointed. Logical explanation, I think. Andrew Gaff struggling with his new role, I think, a little bit. Avid watcher of the show. We've pumped up his physical presence on the ground. Not to be this week, Benny. Spoke to him in the gym this week. He was pretty disappointed with his enforcing efforts. You know he's taken the role after Bo Waters has been ruled out for the rest of the season. So Gaffey's just battling a little bit early, but he's only new to it and his consistency will grow. He won't be happy with us showing this vision, but talk me through Eric McKenzie's logic here coming out of the back half. Rates himself as a bit of an Xbox FIFA man, but geez, he tried to show us his soccer skills on the weekend. He may have been thinking the World Cup's coming up shortly. I might just put on a bit of a show. Easy, I reckon you should stick to footy, my friend. Well done to Coxie, 277. Excellent guard of honour, mate, on the weekend. Good class shown by the West Coast players, support staff and fans. Geelong people even up and clapping. So we salute you, Dean Cox. Congratulations. We'll see you next week at the review.